we will continue our discussion on longest common subsequence so in our earlier videos we had seen how to find the length of longest common subsequence in of two strings but we did not get a chance to look at what exactly this subsequence is so in this video we will be doing exactly that we will find out the exact subsequence that is longest in the two strings so earlier we saw that if while calculating the value of any cell if uh, the character at this cell and this cell so one row correspond to one string and the second uh, the columns correspond to the characters of the second string and uh, rows correspond to characters of first string so uh, for calculating this value we compare uh, the character at this position and this position so if they are equal we take whatever value is there and add one to it but if the characters are not equal then we see these two cells and whichever value is maximum we put there so now we will just backtrack uh, this algorithm and so we created this table using this this approach so now we will just backtrack it so we will start from this position so here b and c are not equal so this is our starting position so b and c are not equal that means we would have compared this cell and this cell and picked the maximum so we came to this cell from here so we will backtrack to that now we will compare b and b so this is equal so when the characters are equal we come diagonally from top left and add one to it so we would have come to this cell from this cell so when uh, we see equality we will print that character so character is b so we printed that and moved diagonally here here they were not equal so we moved to maximum now let's continue our backtracking so here we will compare y and t they are not equal so we would have compared this cell and this cell and whichever was maximum we we will move to there now we will see t and t they are equal that means we would have come here from this diagonally top left cell and now we will compare a and g oh, oh, so i forgot to again print the character so here t and t are equal so whenever there is equality we print that character and move diagonally top left so this is the second character that will be part of the subsequence longest common subsequence now here a and g are not equal so we will go to the maximum value here g and g are equal so we will print g and move diagonally up so we reach here now a and t are not equal so we see its left and top cell whichever is maximum we go there so we come to here and we see that a and a are equal so we will print a and go diagonally top left so we reach here and now g and x are not equal so either we came from here or here it doesn't matter both are in zero let's say i go here and then uh, we have reached uh, 
the zeroth index so we will stop so so in this way we have printed our subsequence so we back track from here so let's uh, write this in the code and then so we will use a large part of this code in printing the longest common subsequence so i will name it print lcs dp and now till here so this will not return anything we will just print the characters so this is the size of longest common subsequence now we should start the printing part so we will keep one character array of size l plus 1 because now we know the length of subsequence so we will take a array of that length plus 1 for null terminating character in the end and we will add the null non terminating character to it at the last position so since we are back tracking from this index mn position so i will initialize our our dummy variables i n j to m n n then we will keep doing minus minus so while i is greater than 0 and j is greater than 0 so if, so if any one of these becomes 0 then we stop like when we reached here i became 0 so we stopped so whatever character was printed till that point we concluded that that is our subsequence or we could have even stopped here after printing the fourth character because we know beforehand that the length of our lcs is 4 so we could have terminated here also so if p so so we added 0 at the last index so we will subtract that index to the previous and add that equal character there so we can add p i minus 1 there in that array and then i minus minus and j minus minus but if they are not equal so if they are equal we subtracted both i and j and moved diagonally top left else so we will compare the left cell and the top cell so this is i minus 1 so it's the it's the cell above it because we are subtracting the row, row number 
so if the top cell is more then what we will do we will just do i minus minus else we will do j minus minus so this uh, array will be updated only when we find equal characters and then we can print or we can directly print this LCS array And then let's call this function and see what's the output. So it prints AGTB as expected. Our output was also AGTB and the length was 4. So uh, this is how uh, we first we find the length of the subsequence, then we backtrack from uh, this cell and using the same logic that we used for populating this table and we can print the actual subsequence. So thanks for watching and with this we will end uh, the discussion on longest common subsequence and leave your valuable feedbacks in the comment sections below and don't forget to subscribe my channel for my future videos. Thank you.